Hey, what is up everybody? Zero Fats here, aka Cam Genix, coming at you on behalf of EpicConversions.com. Hope everybody's doing awesome out there. I've been away from Facebook actually for a few days. Um, I've been in the process of moving this office. Um, here, I'll show you. I'll show you what I'm talking about. Pretty empty right now. This is my uh, my new uh, space. Not much to it really. Uh, Still got some tools on the ground over here, still working on stuff. Um, but basically, it's really man. It's just the space that I can uh, can work uninterrupted, uh, away from my family, so they don't feel like they're on eggshells around me all the time. Um, and I just reached a spot in my business where I could do that, and it was cool, and it wasn't a big deal. Um, I wanted to take a minute and show you guys something though. I want to show you guys how to uh hey Lee Musto, how you doing? I wanted to take a minute and show you guys how to uh get more conversions like when you do product launches, when you do sales pages. Obviously we all know sales pages are important. Thank you, thank you. It's it's been good. Today is actually my first official day in this office and a lot of my day I've spent uh, just hanging stuff up on the walls and trying to recreate what I had at home, actually. <laughs> What's up, Casey? Yeah, a lot of my day I've just spent uh, recreating what I already had at home. <laughs> but without getting, getting on the nerves of my family. with uh, Because like a lot of times when I talk, I'm pretty loud. <laughs> I'm pretty loud. And it disrupts everything that everybody's doing at home, man. It disrupts, uh, like, their TV watching or whatever else they're doing, man. Because when I'm doing those coaching calls or if I'm doing, like, videos or these live streams, I get kind of excited. <laughs> I get kind of excited, man. So, um, but, yeah, man, it's cool. So I can just come to work now and stay out everybody's hair. And, uh, and it's all good, man, because I worked for many, many years anyway. So it's very natural for me to go to work in the morning so it makes a lot of sense I feel like I'm gonna get a lot more done anyway so it's all good but check this out what I want to tell you guys today is uh, okay so like when you're launching products or, or, or not even when you're launching products anytime you have anything to sell all right I always tell people whenever you have something to sell like always connect the dots for people so that they understand why what you have makes sense for them it's not enough to say, hey, I got an affiliate marketing product. I want you to buy it. This is going to be awesome. Um, that's not enough, right? It's not enough to say, hey, I got an email marketing product, man. Email is important for your business. Uh, this is really cool. You should pick this up. That's not enough, all right? You need to honestly connect the dots for people. And what I mean by that, uh, an effective tool for me, I should say, something that's been very effective for me, is hypothetical situations. All right, hypotheticals. I did it with Membership Dons. I did it with um, Parabolic Content Engine. Uh, and it worked really, really well. Um, anytime you paint a hypothetical for somebody, like if I say to you, all right, listen, I want you to buy this exercise ball. You might be like, oh, dude, I don't need an exercise ball. What are you talking about? I weigh 135 pounds. I'm fit as a fiddle, and I'm in great shape. I don't need an exercise ball. I'm like, okay, listen to me. Imagine this for a second. Hypothetical. Let's say, uh, let's say you think you're in great shape, but, you know, it is said that 95% of the population, uh, these got to be true stats. The ones I'm giving you, I'm just pulling out of thin air, so don't take it to heart. You need real stats. But, what's up, Philip Lopez? Um, let's say I say to you, 95% of the population is understretched. And because they're understretched, uh, they don't get the benefit of their full workout, right? They're only operating on 75% efficiency on their workout. Now, let me paint a hypothetical for you. Let's say, let's say, um, you start stretching on an exercise ball, which is the best way to stretch. You start doing that five days a week, okay? Five days a week you start doing that. Now, what's going to happen is, first month, you're going to improve your efficiency by this month, right? And all, you, all it took was five minutes 
five minutes of your time to stretch on this ball before your workout. It was so easy. And the first month, you noticed the 5% increases in efficiency. The second month, you noticed this much increase in efficiency. The third month, by the end of 12 months, you have actually gained this much in workout power. That means you've either lost this many calories or you've gained this much muscle. Whatever market you're targeting, right? If you're targeting that, you know, that <laughs> muscle gain crowd, you're going to aim at a different, uh, a different want, a different benefit, right? If you're, if you're targeting that weight loss crowd, you're going to go for calories uh, and weight loss. Um, this is totally outside of my niche. I have no idea why I chose the health niche to, to talk to you guys about this with. <laughs> but uh, the point is, if you notice, if you go look at my sales pages on Membership Dons and on Parabolic Content Engine, I use hypotheticals in both of those sales pages. And people who watched those sales pages, they felt like they, felt like they were getting knowledge from the sales page. And they were getting knowledge from the sales page. I was painting a picture for them on the sales page. I was connecting the dots for them right there on the sales page. Month one, you can do this. Month two, you'll be here. Month three, you'll be here. Month four, you'll be here. Imagine, just imagine that for a second. Boom, 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 right? And if you can connect the dots for people, then you can help them see the vision, right? And this isn't about like tricking people. This isn't about uh, pulling the wool over people's eyes with hypotheticals. This is about showing people what they cannot see, things that will actually help them, but they cannot see it. They just can't see it. A lot of people are like that. They can't see it. They can't see it. And it's up to you guys as marketers to connect it for them. You got to connect the dots for people. And a great way that we can do this is with hypotheticals. All right. We can use stats. We can use information that we pull from other sources and we can build these hypothetical situations that will convert for you. I'm not kidding with you guys. Parabolic Content Engine was converting at 16% throughout launch week, okay? Right now, Parabolic Content Engine, I don't know, it's like two months old, and it's still converting at 11%, okay? It's at $27 right now. It's still converting at 11%. It's not even being promoted. So I'm not joking with you guys. This hypothetical stuff absolutely works. It can help you, all right? Um, and, you know, I don't have, like... I got a whiteboard behind me, but I don't got any good examples off the top of my head. So if you want a good example, just go check out my sales pages. But uh, I just want you to understand the technique, uh, hypotheticals, they really, really work. Um, and yeah, man, that's about it. I did map out my, my sales page for you, and I was going to go through each part of it for you and show you what I did, why I did it, but I was like, man, screw all that. <laughs> I'll just talk to you about a couple things on there that I find uh, really effective and really efficient. Uh, hypotheticals. After you get done with your hypothetical, a good thing to do is to go into actual, right? Actual. So you go from a hypothetical scenario where you show people what is possible, you go into an actual. Now, if you have experience using what you're selling, then you go into actual for your experience, right? You go into actual of your experience what you've been able to do with the methods you're sheep showing them. Um, what's up, Scotty? Um, if you don't have experience, <laughs> what's up, you guys? Appreciate you stopping by. Um, if you don't have experience, if you don't have experience, we're going to do something called borrowing results, right? So after you go through hypothetical scenario for your prospects, you're going to actual, and you'll talk about something other people have done, you know, whether that is, uh, you know, putting 80,000 leads on their list in 30 days or whatever. If you don't have experience doing it, you go into actual of someone else's experience. You become the storyteller. You tell people the story of other people. Now, you don't lie to people. You tell them, listen, Joe Smith did this much in this many days. Here's how he did it. Boom, 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 boom. And you go through the story of how Joe Smith did that, right? Um, you don't lie to them. You don't pretend like you did something you didn't do. You don't want to do that. As soon as you start lying to people, you're in unethical territory. It's a dark alley. You don't want to go there. So you don't lie to people. It doesn't matter if you did it or if someone else did it, all right? You can still borrow those results. You can borrow that authority, okay? So the hypothetical to actual is a good combination on a sales page, all right? And it can really increase your conversion rates 
when you guys are out there launching products, I, I suggest try to aim for at least 10%, right? If you're not getting 10% on day one, then you want to adjust your sales page. I was just talking to a friend of mine uh, yesterday about this who had just launched a product last week. It kind of flopped a little bit on him, and um, I was talking to him throughout launch about adjusting his sales page and stuff like that because if you're not getting over 10% conversion rate on the sales page, you're wasting a lot of that traffic. So you want to adjust sales page. You want to keep on adjusting until you get over 10%. You know, so that's that's how that goes. Um, so, anyways, I guess that's all I got to talk about. This was short, sweet. Hope it's been helpful to you guys. Practice hypothetical scenarios, not just on sales pages, you guys. Anytime you want to sell something, anytime you have something you want to sell, if you're an affiliate marketer and you're trying to make sales, if you use a hypothetical scenario and, and connect the dots for people, this will help you convert. Okay, so anyways, I hope that's helpful to you guys. Um, if it is, please share this video. Please like, give me a thumbs up. I'll see you guys in the next one. Let me know how you're feeling out there. Peace.